Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza here at the Hatfield Public Library and I have a box of DVDs. It feels like a little while since we've gotten some DVDs, so I'm excited to get these out. <laughs> if I can get them out of the box. Okay, we have The Good House by, I, I guess I don't say by with DVDs. We have The Good House starring Sigourney Weaver and a realtor in an idyllic New England town whose wickedly funny tongue and seeming success mark her life's one dark truth. Oh, she's an alcoholic. Oh, and then it also has Kevin Klein. This on my lap. Okay. Amsterdam. I think I saw a preview for this. Like maybe it came up as an ad or something. Wow, this song. This is one of these movies that just stars a million gazillion people. Um, Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, Timothy Oliphant, Chris Rock, Zoe Saldana, Mike Myers. Everyone is here. It's filmmaker David O. Russell, and it's an original crime epic about three friends who find themselves in the midst of a shocking secret plot. So it says it's an original story, but it's it's based on facts that meet fiction. I think that means like very improbable facts. <laughs> but so I guess, I don't know, sounds good. We have Fall. This sounds so terrifying. I really have no desire to watch this. I will just be very straightforward, but I think a lot of people do want to watch it. It is a movie um, about uh, best friends who like to conquer fears and push their limits. So they climb to the top of a water tower, which is two thousand oh a radio tower, two thousand feet, and then they find themselves stranded with no way down. Uh huh. That sounds so stressful. I can't even imagine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe I'll read the Wikipedia summary. We have Bowie, Moon Age Daydream. So this is a film by Brett Morgan. And um, it is about David Bowie. Um, it has actual footage. It's not like a biopic. It has actual like footage of David Bowie. And, um, oh, interesting. It's the first officially sanctioned film on the artist. We have Jerry and Marge Go Large. This stars Annette Bening. Um, <laughs> so this is about a retiree who finds, oh, uh, sorry, Annette Bening, Rain Wilson, and Brian Cranston. And Brian Cranston is a retired, um, I guess, I assume he's some sort of retired professor, but he finds a loophole in the Massachusetts lottery. And so they go on a... Um, <laughs> multi-million dollar winning spree and then try to revive their own town um interesting sounds fun we have of course emily the criminal they've seen lots of ads for this it stars aubrey plaza um it's got that certified fresh tomato and it is about a woman um who is having trouble finding a job, I think, because she has a felony, and so she has to take a shady draw job. Uh, we have a horror movie, Pearl, Mia Goth. She looks so cute, but she's holding an axe, so you know that something is up. Um, oh, so this is a, it says it's another chapter from the twisted world of X. Um, so it's about trapped on a farm, uh, da, da, da. yeah so i don't really know the horror movie world but it sounds like maybe this is maybe not a direct sequel but sort of set in the universe of another horror movie we have three thousand years of longing um starring tilda swinton and idris elba i have to say this cover didn't really work for me in terms of making me want to watch the movie but one of my coworkers was really excited about it so i watched the preview and i was like i was really into the preview um it basically it's about a woman who finds a uh jinn who offers her three wishes in exchange for his freedom um and it's just again the preview just made it look really fun <laughs> This is uh, much more serious, the U.S. and the Holocaust. Uh, this is um, 
by Ken Burns, Lynn Novak, and Sarah Botstein. And it examines the U.S.'s response to the greatest humanitarian crisis of the 20th century. We have a Discovery of Witches season three for all of the Discovery of Witches fans. I know the first two seasons have been popular. We have Don't Worry, Darling. This says Perfection Has a Price. Oh my gosh, this is another one that stars a ton of big names. Florence Pugh, Harry Styles, Olivia Wilde, Chris Pine. A 1950s housewife living in a utopian experimental community begins to worry that her husband's glamorous company may be hiding disturbing secrets. <laughs> we have Bros. I heard that this was very fun. Um, this is a... a this is interesting. It's, does it even say who the actors are? Or it just says who the writers are. So it says, uh, written by Billy Eichner, Nicholas Stoller, and Judd Apatow. Um, that's kind of funny that it doesn't seem to say anywhere that I can find the name of the actors, but I guess the names of the writers are so big. And here you can see the actors on the back. And um, again, very well reviewed. Heard that it was a sweet movie. It's about... Um, Smart, 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 swoony, and heartfelt comedy about two gay men. Uh, yeah. And last of all, this is a fun one to have last. We have uh, Sean the Sheep movie, Farmageddon. Um, a, mischievous, a, a mischievous alien crash lands near Mossy Bottom Farm. Fun. I like, I've liked uh, their other movies, so. Good to watch with the family. That's my box of DVDs. I'll be back soon with more. Bye.